Tasha is with us in Tennessee. Hi, Tasha. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. How are you? It's such a blessing to talk to you. You too. What's up? I have a question. So, um, I want to be able to buy a house. Good. Because where I'm at now is just not the best neighborhood, but it's cheap. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So, I'm there. So, I owe about $30,000 in debt. So, I'm just trying to figure out, should I work towards saving money towards a down payment so I can come away from where I'm at now? Or do I um, start with the baby steps? I really, I'm really just looking for guidance and direction. I just, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Um, oh so what's your household income? Um, I make about 55 a year. And what's the 30000 in debt on? Um, I have student loans that total to about 15000 Mm-hmm. I have a car that I only owe $3,500 on, thank mm-hmm. goodness, <laughs> and like doctor bills and other little things like that. That amount to $10,000? Um, I'm kind of really just guessing. I'm kind of eyeballing. I'm not for sure. Okay. Well, the so first thing we do, the first thing you need to do is do a very detailed list of your debts uh-huh. and list uh-huh. them smallest to largest. Now, mm-hmm. in 30 years of doing financial coaching with people, uh-huh. I have found zero people that regret being debt-free and having their emergency fund in place plus their down payment before they buy. I have found a lot of people that bought a home while still in debt, barely got in there, and then the stinking hot water heater goes out of the roof leaks, septic tank stops up, whatever, and they're broke. The problem with home ownership is it is a wonderful blessing over the long haul as long as you have the money. But when you're broke, $30,000 in debt, and you buy a house, it ends up being more of a curse than a blessing. I want you to get a house. I just don't want your house to get you. All right. So if I were in your shoes, what I would do is make a detailed list of those debts, and I would say, this is my new game. I'm going to knock these puppies out as fast as I can, list them smallest to largest, attack, get your every dollar budget going, attack with a vengeance on that smallest debt. When it's gone, attack the next one down. When it's gone, attack the next one down. And every time you do that, you don't have that payment anymore on that other one, so that gives you more money to attack, right? That snowball rolls over, picks up more snow. And um, kind of lay that out and look at that math a little bit and see how long you think you've got to be there. If you're feeling unsafe in the area that you're in, you may need to move and rent something in a different neighborhood while you're getting out of debt. Because it may take you a year and a half or two years to get out of debt and build that emergency fund and build that down payment. My guess is it probably will. But I didn't hear $30,000 in debt. I heard eighteen five so far. Oh, okay. 15 and 3,500 is the only two you got better. dialed in. <laughs> Yeah. So eighteen Those are my five two biggest ones. Yeah. Eight, oh, I'm sorry. I owe the IRS to probably like five thousand dollars. Oh, I forgot about that. Well, that's a big one. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And you fixed the problem <laughs> that caused that. Yes, I fixed it. Okay. Good. Are you getting a big tax refund now? They kept it. <laughs> Towards that five thousand. Okay. All yes. Right. <laughs> All right. And you've got them on payments no, other than that. Yes, I'm going to set them up on a payment plan. I'm just trying to figure out yeah. how to budget and, and live and, and pay debt. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm really confused on how to do it all. Yeah, so. yeah. it gets complicated. I'm, well, all a budget yeah. is is we're going to list our – put our income for the week or two weeks or month at the top of the page, and then mm-hmm. I want to give every one of those dollars an assignment down the page. I'm going to buy food with it. I'm going to buy lights and water with it. I'm going to pay my rent. I, I'm uh, going to pay the single, the regular payments on these bills. And then when I find money that's left over, I'm going to use it to attack this debt. And uh, no, no luxuries in this budget because we're trying to get out of debt so we can get a house. And every yeah. time we go out to eat, again, it keeps us from getting out of debt to get a house. Anytime we do anything, go on vacation, that, that, that money, if it had gone towards the debt, you got a house faster. So we got to, you got to make it a big priority and that's all you are doing is focusing on that. Hold on. We are running a 14 day free trial 
on Financial Peace University. I'll put you on hold, and Kelly will pick up and let you know how to sign up for that. And uh, you can get that 14-day free trial going and uh, at DaveRamsey.com slash hope. And um, that'll help you get it going. And you can get in there and learn about this stuff a little bit. And then you'll want to stay in Financial Peace you know, through this time for certain and learn how to not only get out of debt, but be able to get in a position to buy that house.